Good morning, my name is Kendrick Celestine. Uh, today in my video, I'm going to be talking about you ain't problem free. And the reason what I mean by that, and actually, um, this came across me like a couple of days ago. I was actually thinking about this. I don't know, but the only reason I'm bringing this up because um, you ain't really problem free in life. You're really not. And the only reason why I say you can't, you you can't think like you're gonna be less free. You ain't gonna be like with problem less, be with less like be with free and problem at all. Period. That's not possible. And the reason I bring this up because, <clears throat> well, I'll bring it like first thing. Me for example, for myself. Well, you know, if I could go to work every day, get up, wash up, you know, do what I got to do, you know, go to work, you know, do what I got to do, make my money, you know, get paid, you know, by the, by the hour. And honestly, if I could tolerate all the people who I work with around me on a consistent daily work basis, even the people I know I find I'm not going to like or get along with, but sometimes, but it's sometimes it's really, even at the mental level of the people who I tolerate on a consistent daily basis, how sick people are mentally in the head. And honestly, I started really think to myself, you know what? You think I don't have like problems, like my personal problems, like when I be like when I get off the end of my shift, think I gotta deal with like with people like, hey, my girlfriend or my boyfriend or my roommates or my if I'm living with my parents or living with my in-laws or deal with other things and stuff. Even though it's all on a bigger hell level of personal problems or you like with my work problems. Even the work problems, what I tolerate dealing with work because by certain rules I deal with, even one of my personal time, what I work with, I don't have to deal with because reality has some personal time because they can just cut you off and they have to deal with see me. So, and regardless what the problem is, see, even I know there's always going to be problems for me. I got to challenge what I got to compromise with, who I got to deal with, who I got to solve, do I got out of critical thinking, calculating time, how much I'm going to spend on my food, how much I'm paying for how much I'm going to afford this, how I'm to get this, how I'm to budget that, you know, it's a lot of solving problems, you know, I mean, they ain't going to be no problematic free, or dealing with someone who I'm going to have to at least deal with, even the money, there's going to be problems coming to it, and not just this is the pretty side, there's going to be the ugly side to it, and, um, so there's always a problem, because you got to do a lot of challenging, hey, there's problems you got to solve, like, hey, you got to fix the guard, or rate the, or get your car fixed, do a lot of, Compromising, doing stuff like that, and actually, um, and I bring this up because it's not a really thing to me because it just came to my mind. Because, well, I started like, Am I problem free? No, I'm really not problem free for anything because there's a lot of problems I gotta solve, and there's a lot of problems that come with they're like good problems or they're bad problems. And uh, promises people want to go to like want to go to less problems, being they're gonna be no problems, they want to be automatic problem free, and there's no such thing as automatic problem free in life, there's nothing. Even to see it, even like well, what I do on my consistent daily basis, what I, what I will accept, what I will tolerate, what I will put up with, or what I'm not, it depends on what type of person I am like. But the reality is, you got those minds of people who want to be like this. You got double-minded people, you got weak-minded people, you got stubborn-minded people, and you got well-minded people. And especially you got those who really just think they're like, because I'll put it like this, you got double-minded people. Double-minded people who want to learn to pick and choose, they're pretty much hypocrites. It's more like this. It's more like, hey, if a black person would have like did a shooting, you could call him a terrorist. If you have a white person to shoot him, you call him a mass shooter. That's pretty much double-minded means. Weak-minded. Weak-minded people are pretty much like, hey, I read, I'm going to run and go get out of my race, deal with less problems, deal with less issues, and not think there's going to be no issues like dealing with the other groups, not just your own, but the other groups of people over there too. And you got stubborn-minded. Stuff about people want to think they want to think and just do what the fuck they want to do and not expect there to be no consequences to their choices, not expect there to be no problems coming back to them and not this. And you got one minded people, real minded people are just like, and they're still going to hold on to it. It's like, hey, you can put your chain on my body, but you're not going to put your chain on my head because I'm not going to let you break me because it's more like this. I'm still going to have my beliefs and my whatever I do with it. I'm choosing to fake my free will on this mind. And you're not going to break me into this will. So. But brain mom, you could chain me out, but you ain't gonna break my will on this mind. So, <clears throat> so that's pretty much what's my take on this because um, the only reason I, I want to be I'm dressing this up, like I said, it came into my mind me like uh, a couple of days ago. So I wanted to, uh, just, you know, dress this out because it just came to me. So I just wanted to share this with you guys, see what you guys think of it. So, um, the title of my video is gonna call "You Ain't Problem Free." So, and um, anyway, like. Just like comment down below, um, see what you think of it. Um, God will continue making more later on in the future. I hope you folks have a wonderful day. Um, this is Kendrick Celestine, and I'm out.